Laws of Reflection Reflection of Light The returning or bouncing back of light rays to the same medium after striking a surface is called the reflection of light. The surface which reflects the light is known as a reflector. Polished metal surfaces, especially silver, are good reflectors. Water surfaces, waxed surfaces and glazed paper also act as reflectors. A plain mirror is the most commonly used reflector. If a ray of light AO falls on the plain mirror at point O, the mirror reflects it in the same medium following the path OB. Since light ray OA falls on the reflecting surface from a light source, this is called the incident ray. While light ray OB arises from the reflecting surface after reflection from it, it is thus called a reflected ray. If a perpendicular, say ON, is drawn to the reflecting surface at the point of incidence, then the ray incident at 90 degrees to a surface is called the normal ray. And the angle it makes with the incident ray, AO, is called the angle of incidence. It is denoted by small i. While the angle between normal and reflected rays, that is, angle BON, is called the angle of reflection. This angle is denoted by a small r. The reflection of light from a surface obeys specific laws called laws of reflection. The first law of reflection states that the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. This implies that angle I equals angle R. The second law of reflection states that the incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal at the point of the incidence all lie in the same plane. For example, the diagram will change if the reflected ray is in this direction. Here, the incident ray and the normal lie in the same plane, but the reflected ray is not in that plane, violating the second law. Hence, it will never be reflected in this direction. It has to be like so. Try to solve the following question. If an incident ray is perpendicular to the surface of a plane mirror, then what will be the angle of reflection and the direction of the reflected ray? We know that the angle of incidence is the angle between the incident ray and normal. And normal is a perpendicular line to the surface at the point of incidence. In this case, the incident ray is perpendicular to the point of incidence and coincides with the normal. So, the angle of incidence equals 0 degrees. According to the law of reflection, the measure of the angle of reflection is also 0 degrees. Hence, the reflected ray will travel in a direction opposite to the incident ray.